Trendy Dree and today I'm going to show you how to make a, a loop bow using a two different ribbons. This is a pro bow. This is an older version. Uh, the newer versions will have uh, the lines and all marked for you, but um, this is an old board. So we're going to start out with putting the pegs in our center loop for our center loop and they'll go right there. And then we're going to make this bow about 11 inches. So we're going to put our other pegs out on the C mark. So the first layer is A, B, C. And then we're going to put four pegs on each side. And the Pro Bow also comes with a board to put your ribbon on. So uh, it'll hold up to three spools and we have two. So we're gonna put pegs there. And then we're gonna put our ribbon. I've chosen a wire inch ribbon, a wire edge ribbon that's about an inch and a half in width. And we're gonna put that on where the ribbon comes off to the right side. Put our second roll on where the ribbon comes off to the right side. To start our bow, we're going to make a loop in the center and we're going, to, we're going to have a tail on this side. So we're going to take our two pieces of ribbon, go around that center, and we're just going to bring this side under. This will be our tail, so make it as long as you want. And then this is our working ribbon off this side. So to secure this, I'm going to take a chenille stem and I'm just going to go catch both sides of that. And you want to secure your ribbon about, you don't want to take it all the way down to the bottom of the peg, you want to do it about halfway. Just going to give that a couple of turns and then you can just wind your peg, wind your chenille stem up there around that peg out of the way. Now we're ready to start forming our loops and this is going to be our tail on the left side. So. This, is, this ribbon has a right and a wrong side, so we always have to be working with our right side up. So we're gonna have to give that a twist, get the right side up, and go around this first peg. Come back to the center, give it a twist, go around the first peg on the left side. We're gonna put two loops on each peg. So we're back to the center, give it a twist, Two loops around that first peg again. We're back to the center. Twist. Two loops around that first peg. Now, this time we're going to move over to the second peg. You just always twist and get that right side up. Third loop. Now we're back to the center, our right side is up, and now we can cut our ribbon off as long as we want to uh, cut it where you want your length of your tail. So we're just going to cut it for right now and then we'll even it up a little bit later. Now while we're holding this securely, I'm going to uh, secure mine with a zip tie. I still got my chenille stem in there, but I'm going to mainly use that to attach my bow to my wreath or package or whatever I'm using. So I'm going to slip my chenille stem under there where it catches all those loops. It's kind of a thick bundle there. I just like to use this, I mean, a zip tie because uh, you can secure it so much tighter. 
I'm going to pull that tight. I'm going to slip this peg out. Go ahead and slip it off these pegs and they'll come out. That's okay. Let's get that out of the way. And go ahead and tighten that up as tight as I can get it. Okay. Now, you've kind of built your bow from the top down, so now we're ready to uh, fluff out the loop. I'm going to cut off the end of the zip tie with a pair of wire cutters. Just going to snip that. Let's see, I've got my tails and I've got my chenille stem that I'm going to use. I'm going to bring that to the bottom. Now, I'm ready to fluff out the loops. There's my center loop. I'm going to start from the bottom, and I've got four loops to fluff, so I'm just going to pull those out. And I'm going to flip to the other side and do the bottom loop so I can kind of keep them kind of even. And then we're going to move on to the next loops, and we're just going to continue fluffing these loops out. Well, there's our loopy bow. Uh, you just keep uh, fluffing out the loops until you get the bow shaped like you want. And we have tails uh, hanging down, and we have our chenille stem for securing the bow. You can make lots of different bows with the Pro Bow. Uh, this bow is about 11 inches. Uh, you can use the pegs to make just a hand-tied bow, or uh, there's all sorts of uh, bow recipes out there. Thanks for watching. Uh, give us a like if you like the video, and be sure to subscribe to our channel, and we hope you'll visit us at Trendy Tree. Thanks, Sam. Bye-bye.
You just keep fluffing your ribbons until you get it to where you like the way it looks. And that's one reason that you like to use wire edge ribbon because it does make it easier. And then you wind up with a, a loopy bow with tails. Just trim off the tails the length that you want and maybe chevron the ends. And then you've got a chenille stem on the back to attach it. Okay? You can do lots of different bows with the Pro Bow, and uh, you can use it for just single uh, loop hand tied bows, uh, wreath bows, just all, all kinds. So this bow is about 11 or 12 inches once it's fluffed out, and there you have it. Thanks for dropping in. Be sure and subscribe to our channel, and uh, give us a like. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video, and again, thanks for dropping in. Bye-bye. Okay, there you have a big loopy bow. We've got tails, and then we have a chenille stem to attach it with. Uh, you just keep fluffing your ribbons till you get it the shape and all that you want, and that's one reason for using wire edge ribbon. It makes it much, much easier. Uh, with the Pro Bow, you can make all kinds of bows. You can use the pegs and just to do a hand-tied bow. You can make wreath bows, just lots of different kinds. And uh, if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. And be sure and visit us at Trendy Tree. Drop by and see our Facebook page. Thanks for dropping in. Bye-bye. Okay. <clears throat> okay, there we have a big loopy bow. Uh, it's got tails, and you've got a chenille stem for uh, attaching. And you just keep fluffing your ribbons till you get it, you know, shaped out like you want. So this is this bow is about 11 inches or so in width, um, and that's one reason for using wire edge ribbon is because it's much easier to work with. If you're using uh, making um, two ribbon bows for the first time, it's probably easier maybe to use a sheer ribbon. Anything that's a little thinner is easier to use when you're first learning how. I would advise just getting some uh, inexpensive ribbon. <coughs> Excuse me and practice with the Pro Bow uh, and just, you know, make some bows, take them apart and, you know, make a different style. There's all sorts of bow recipes out there. You can go to ProBow.com and look at their uh, recipes and just develop your own. Well, there's our loopy bow. Uh, you just keep uh, fluffing out the loops until you get the bow shaped like you want. And we have tails uh, hanging down and we have our chenille stem for securing the bow. You can make lots of different bows with the Pro Bow. Uh, this bow is about 11 inches. Uh, you can use the pegs to make just a hand-tied bow. or uh, There's all sorts of uh, bow recipes out there. Thanks for watching. Uh, give us a like if you like the video, and be sure to subscribe to our channel. And we hope you'll visit us at Trendy Tree. Thanks now. Bye-bye.